Hey there, my name is Kathy. Welcome to the Junk Shack, baby. I hope you'll follow me on all of these other social media platforms. Well, here we are. I've got four items to turn into either a witch or vampire. This little girl look like she's wearing a witch costume, but I hope it'll be cute. This one is just automatically a witch. Now these guys, man, just anything will make them better. I'm back and forth with making them a witch and a warlock or making them the vampires. It's gonna be a fun DIY. I like to keep my cost at a dollar per figurine or less, but if you get a couple, I'm willing to pay two bucks each. Using the little doily, I painted it black, stuck a um, paintbrush tip in it, poked it up a little bit, tied it up, and now she has a little witch's hat. Oops. It's like it was on her head. And then her bird got loose, and her bird landed on her head. And she's picking up her witch's hat. Let me get it on her fingers. She has a little witch's hat. Isn't she adorable? Now I think I'm going to paint her face red. I'm not sure. Red? What the? What the? What the? I mean green. My thought behind all of this is that it was a little girl dressing up as a witch to go trick-or-treating. And her mom painted her face and she insisted on having her hands painted green too. So mom did that and now she's ready to go. But her bird got loose and foiled all of her witchy wishes. I think I'm going to leave her arms and face, maybe even her hair that color, but paint her hat and her dress black. This one was by far the easiest. I'd simply painted everything black and then took the gold and just slightly edged the brim of her hat. Now she turned out cute. Kinda looks like she's not getting enough oxygen though. If you have watched any of my previous videos, like maybe from last year, you would know I'm always on the lookout for figurines that are nice and cheap that I can turn into either vampires or witches. And I just so happened to catch these guys way up high. And the pair of them is $3.99. I'm gonna have to have them. I think they'll make a perfect witch in Warlock. Kinda ugly. They'll probably look better as a witch in a Warlock. <laughs> Or making them the vampires. She will have to be the biter just simply because there's nowhere to show bite marks on her neck. So she will have bit him. Well, I decided against white and I went ahead and painted them all black simply to make it easier. I was going to paint all of their clothes black anyway. So just their faces and their hands needed to be white and I thought that would be easier than painting them white and then going through and painting everything else black. So as of right now, you don't ever know until it's done. They're painted black. I'm going to paint their faces and hands white and then I'm going to rub some gold over her flowers and maybe the flowers down here at his feet. Right here, I would like to add that I was really contemplating not painting these. They have a very sophisticated, elegant look as is, and in my opinion, they look a hundred times better than they did before. So, you could always stop here. Alrighty, I have their 
faces and hands all painted. I'm gonna let that dry real well. Maybe give them a little bit of some blackish eyes. I'm not sure. And I may antique wax it. And then I'll do the blood. The blood was so simple. I just used a red Sharpie. As far as vampires go, a matching pair is always key. If you can get a couple as one figurine, snap it up. Many times they're in the embraces of love, which is brilliant for vampires. Please leave me a comment below telling me which one of these Halloween DIYs did you like the best. Was it this cute little girl in her costume ready to go trick-or-treating? Maybe you liked this simple look into my eyes lacking oxygen little witch. Or maybe you are like me and like this colonial period vampire figurine couple. I think they're my favorite. Although she is pretty cute, especially in person. But she is stunning in her simplicity. And those eyes, can we talk about those eyes? I changed my mind. She is my favorite. Born to be a witch. Thanks a bunch for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, Junk Shack, baby.